Rachel, what's going on? How you doing? I'm actually headed down to the Staples Center. That's where the Grammy Awards is going to be this Sunday. Now I'm going to try to figure out what I can find out because I know they're doing indoor and outdoor live Ooh. performances. But um, they're going to have Billie Eilish, Harry Styles, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Bad Bunny, an array of different artists performing. So you know it's going to be a good one. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. Six days and counting till music's biggest night. Beyonce is leading the 63rd annual Grammy Awards with the most nominations for her album, Black Parade. And we can expect B and fellow nominees like Billie Eilish, Dua Lipa, Harry Styles, and BTS to likely be there. Right now, we've got more details about Sunday Night Show in LA with Recording Academy CEO and interim president, Harvey Mason Jr. Trevor Noah's first time Grammy host, what kind of vibe is he going to bring into this new role for him? He's very sharp, very smart, very funny. He brings great presence, great uh, knowledge about music. I'm excited to see if he, he's gonna wear a hoodie or not. He's Mr. Hoodie. <laughs> That's all we've seen of it, right? Will there be live performances, a mix, pre-taped? What can you give us? All of our performances, for the most part, are going to be on the Grammy stage. People are coming to LA and there will be some other outdoor things around LA Live. Of course, people are going to be wondering, will COVID be addressed in the show? It's gonna be a fine line of respecting what's happened in the past year, but also trying to get back to some sort of normalcy. And I think we can use music to, uh, to start healing and start celebrating. The Grammys go live Sunday on CBS. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.